What's the most absurd reason you've heard of someone cancelling their marriage? Bride cancelled the wedding a week before because she was a hardcore Disney adult and she was offered a temp job at Disney, and felt she couldn't miss the opportunity of her dreams. My Italian uncle cancelled his wedding because the bride's family not Italian would not serve lasagna at the wedding reception. He ended up marrying an Irish woman whose family was okay with serving lasagna at the reception. One of my friends was engaged and is Catholic. Her husband had to convert and he had a dream where he was in a Catholic church, but not getting married, he was a priest. So he had a vision of becoming a priest and now the wedding is off. I was going to be a guest at a wedding and found out it was cancelled two weeks before the date. The bride found out that the groom had gotten a significant discount on the price of the venue, and she was insanely angry that anything at her wedding cost less than premium. Keep in mind, this was her dream venue that she had chosen. She was just mad that her fiancé was cheap. Or something. I was never super close to either of them, but the last I heard they never ended up getting married. My cousin called it off three days in advance because the bride and groom couldn't agree on whether to hyphenate their last names, or use his. In retrospect, there was a significant class culture divide of which that was merely one symptom. They realized after everything was already planned, invites sent out etc. That they didn't like the date. They moved it to 2025 so there wouldn't be a four in their wedding date. They did nothing. They picked a date, sent mails with it to invite people. And then did nothing until a week before said date. Of course, they could not rent the venue they wanted nor find another one. They couldn't find caterer, dresses etc. on time. But also, legally, they couldn't get married in such short notice. So, they cancelled the wedding, and will get married later. It's been five years. They're still not married. The best man said in his speech that he slept with the bride about two weeks before the wedding. All hell broke loose. The groom demanded that the marriage be cancelled. It took a few days to get the truth out for the groom to finally listen. The best man thought it'd be a great prank. The groom was apologetic to the bride, but she didn't forgive him. Because he believed in others' lies won't let her talk. One of my marines has one that takes the cake. His marriage was cancelled because his spouse's parents had a dream that he would become abusive and an addict. She left him because of her parents' dream. He's now a multi-s and abusive addict. Cos the man was gay and she was just his test to see if he could love a girl. She was heartbroken, but had her suspicions about him. My brother called it off on the morning of the wedding. She was incredibly controlling, faked a pregnancy and didn't want to meet any of his family even though she lived a mile away. Her mother got her to cancel the reception hall a week before because she wanted it at her house. Loads of people dropped out, and my brother felt the pressure. I thank the universe that he called it off, I doubt I would have seen him again. Wish he didn't do it on the day though. A friend of mine dated a guy for eight years, they were young, it started in high school. Had the wedding all planned and mostly paid for. A month before the wedding she found him stealing her money and gambling with it. She ended up selling her dress on eBay. Gave the ring back to his best friend, who it turns out paid for it. Then eventually married the best friend. They are still happily married ten years later with a cute little boy. The groom had a fake SSN because he was dodging child support from a previous marriage. He told Bride he had neither an ex-wife or child. The SSN was figured out at the courthouse when they were applying for a marriage license. He'd created fake documents at a Staples that morning. One of my former friends called off her wedding because she was convinced the guy was either cheating or would cheat in the future. He wasn't cheating on her and hasn't cheated on the woman he ended up marrying years later. The former friend found a new man, got married, had kids. The man has cheated on her from the very start of their relationship, but she refuses to hear about it. My mom was engaged to be married to her high school sweetheart, let's call him Bob. Bob went to her doorstep two weeks before their wedding and told her he had joined the military and wasn't ready for marriage. He flew to Germany the next day. Fast forward 30 years and two divorces later, my mom was single with five children from two marriages. 
she runs into her old high school sweetheart Bob. He is also single and recently divorced. They fall in love and have been together ever since. Spoiler alert Bob is actually his name. One of the most absurd reasons I've heard of someone cancelling their marriage, was because the groom insisted on wearing a costume from his favourite superhero movie to the wedding. The bride had envisioned a traditional and elegant wedding, but the groom was adamant about walking down the aisle dressed as a fictional character. The disagreement over the costume led to such a heated argument that they eventually called off the wedding entirely. The dude was living a double life had a whole another family in different states said he traveled for work actually back and forth between family and fiancé. Guy had a city hall courthouse wedding. Was issued a marriage certificate, said I do to all the questions asked. Yet in his mind, because he did not have a church wedding he wasn't married. Less than a month later they got an annulment. Ex-wife was obviously pissed. She wasn't religious so didn't want to have a church wedding and thought he knew what a courthouse wedding was about. Go figure. My wife's cousin M fiancé cancelled the wedding because they couldn't agree on where to put used towels after showering. She would put a wet towel in the hamper after each shower. He couldn't get past the fact that as she was putting wet towels in the hamper, and b that she only used the towel once. Though he is crazy, I'm with him on this one. I knew a couple who met, got engaged, and married within less than two years. Six months later they had an annulment. Why you may ask? He's Jehovah and she's Catholic. He doesn't believe in celebrating Christmas or birthdays. She does. Apparently they didn't understand each other very well when discussing kids because they don't speak the same language. I wish I could make this up. My grandfather was stationed in Italy during the war and met a girl there. He even flew his parents out to Italy for the wedding. The night before their wedding all the guests and were having a good time and his fiancée stuck her chewing gum in his hair. The end. The parents of the fiancée disagreed about the decor for the event and so convinced her to break up with my mate. Happened at my church to rather prominent members of the congregation. The wife gets cancer. The husband divorces wife because she cannot perform her wifely duties, not because she medically can't, but because she had to have a mastectomy. She eventually recovered. The husband later accidentally shot himself while cleaning a gun and became paralyzed below the waist. I don't know if this qualifies as cancelling. Indian bride went through all the ceremonies and got married. Then told the groom she had fallen out of love with him but not to worry as they hadn't signed any paperwork yet so weren't considered married by law. Left the day after the wedding and a week or so later left the country with the groom's friend whom she ended up marrying soon after. Bride ended up getting gangbanged at her bachelorette party by strippers. One of the bridesmaids filmed it and put it online. Bride's grandpa found it and told the groom. Groom was in a relationship with his best man. Only people unaware were the bride and her family. I was engaged and we had started paying on the location and then one time we had a party and he got drunk and decided to be funny. He smacked me across my face and pushed me into a fridge all, while one of his friends watched him do this and his friend got up and walked out of the room. So I left him. I didn't feel like it was an absurd reason but my family did. Caused a huge fight for years afterward. Guy I went to school with called off his engagement when his fiancé admitted she was pregnant with her dad's baby, and it was a very consensual situation. Bride is Italian, groom Jamaican. The dad told her if she marries him he's going to go to the wedding dressed like a banana. He bought a yellow tuxedo and a banana hat. The risk of embarrassment made the bride cancel. My great-aunt was a very cantankerous woman. Apparently when she was younger she broke off an engagement because his ears were too big. Cousin they'd been together for years, had a two-year-old child already. Less than a month before the wedding she finds out he was regularly cheating on her their entire relationship. We still made the trip out there. Unfortunately it turned into a funeral trip for an uncle who passed. Not exactly an absurd reason to cancel. I think the fact that we planned to go to a wedding and ended up at a funeral was the absurd part.